Hey guys, um, today we're gonna make a drink that I swore I would never make uh, on the channel or in the bar, but hey ho, we're gonna break that today um, because I think it can be done better. I think we can make a really good one and then I'm gonna change my own mind and hopefully a lot of yours out there, although I know a lot of people already like it. Um, but yeah, you'll see in a second. Cue the intro. <laughs> Okay, so today we are gonna be making the porn star martini. Now, this is a drink that I have bashed for years, as Toby can testify to. Um, I've hated it for a long, long time. Um, but it's high time we made one because I think it can be a good drink. It really can. Um, you know, so often I've been out in a bar or a restaurant, and for me personally, I know loads of people will disagree with this, and they absolutely love them. That's why they're probably the most popular drink in the UK. But just sickly, sickly sweet. I was like, ugh, enough. <laughs> so I refused to kind of make them in the bar and, and serve them. I just wanted people to try other stuff. But now is the time that we're gonna have a go at trying to kind of reinvent it a little bit, not go massively excessive, but we're just gonna change little things to make it a really good drink. Um, to see what we can do. I'm just gonna show you how to make our kind of champagne foam, if you like, that we're gonna experiment with to sit on top of the pencil martini. You know how you get your little champagne shot, uh, normally to go alongside with it. But I thought we'd take that in a different direction today uh, and see what we can come up with. Um, so first things first, we're gonna need ham, and I'm not actually gonna be using champagne, I'm gonna be using one of our own Proseccos. Now this is a pink fizz. Uh, it might not work as well as a normal kind of Prosecco or champagne, um, but um, we're gonna experiment with it anyway, because it was open, basically, and I'm cheap. I'm gonna try out, let's see. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go six ounces of that, maybe a little much more. <laughs> want the phone, you don't want the phone to be too dry, you want to be a little bit of sweetness to it, so I'm gonna go three ounces. Simple syrup. This is quite a lot because it's going to cover more than one drink. Not just uh, for one. And let's see. A little bit of spice. Let's see. Two ounces of lime juice. Let's see what that is. And while we're doing that, we need our gelatin strips. So these are going to hold the foam together, give it that structure we need. So we want two of these. Put them in a bowl with some cold water. Just let that soak, uh, and basically as soon as that kind of disappears, that's when you know it's ready. We also need egg whites. So we have two egg whites, let's just turn them down a little bit more. Again, this is all going to add towards the kind of structure, just like how you do a normal egg white kind of foam on top of a drink. So we need to whisk the, the egg whites together. So we want kind of like a, almost a, what do we call it? Air, really aerate it. So you get this kind of foamy texture and consistency rather. That's what we're looking for. Just that. Our gelatin's coming on nice. Let's give this a little taste check to see what else needs adding to it. So now our gelatin is at the right consistency. Basically, just drain all the excess water off it, get a good squeeze. Check the other thing else in there. Okay. 
she goes. Throw that in. It'll break down very, very quickly because of the heat. And then put in our egg whites as well. Keep stirring that in. Now you want to take that off the heat pretty much straight away unless you want scrambled eggs. Which we don't want to have So let's take that off the heat. Then we're going to let that cool for a little bit and then we're going to exchange that into our ISI cream uh, this one cool for a little bit. Right then, let's have a go at making a really good porn star martini. Let's kick things off with some vanilla vodka. JJ Whitley one is really, really good. We want one and a half ounces of that. Can't make a porn star without Pessoa, so hit it with three quarter an ounce. And now this is something I've decided to throw in there to up the alcohol content, and that's liquor 43. Uh, again, three quarter an ounce. It's gonna complement the vanilla flavor without overloading the sweetness. Now we need half an ounce of passion fruit puree. I think the Rayar purees are the best out of the ones that I've tried. And next up, I'm going to add a little more vanilla in the form of vanilla syrup. Only one quarter ounce because we don't want it to be too sweet. Um, next, we need a quarter ounce of lime juice. Uh, and after that, we need some passion fruit juice. One and a quarter an ounce to be exact. And the Rubicon passion fruit juice is a really good option. Then we can give that a good shake over ice. So we've kind of taken a load of different elements from a variety of different porn star recipes here uh, and tweaked them ever so slightly. And if you want to see more, head over to Steve the Barman's channel. He has probably done about a thousand of these. Uh, so he definitely knows what you're talking about when it comes to porn star martinis. He'll have a recipe for everyone and I think he's constantly updating his favorites. Um, so yeah, check him out. And double strain this into a creep or martini glass and garnish it with a slice of passion fruit. Enjoy. There you are, guys. That is the ultimate porn star martini. Um, true taste test, I guess, because I don't normally like them, but let's give it a go. Yeah, see, now that, that's how it should taste, all right? That is a good drink, and I'll throw my hand up. I can enjoy porn star martinis now, because that's good. The addition of Liquor 43 is a godsend. Keeps it not too sweet, but keeps that booze level a bit higher, so it's not sickly sweet. Really, really nice. Now I'm actually gonna show you, a, I'm gonna throw in another little garnish here, as a little finishing touch, just so we can see if we can level it up even further. So we'll just take this thing out, because who wants a passion fruit anyway? <laughs> Get rid of that. <laughs> so what we've got in here, is we've experimented with a kind of champagne infused foam because uh, you know how you normally get your little champagne prosecco shot whatever to go with it i thought why don't we try it as a foam to sit on top of the drink uh, and really take it to the next level so this could be horrible it could be good we're gonna find out let's see what it's like so I'll give you a little shake Now, we've got a little champagne infused foam on top of the drink. Looks really nice, actually. I think that looks really good. Let's taste it. <laughs> got a really white foam over there. <laughs> Do you know what? I think that's only gone and bloody worked. I think that's really good. You're gonna get Obviously we didn't use champagne, we used our pink fizz Prosecco, but actually that worked really, really well. You've got a little bit of a kind of fizz coming from the foam. That's really nice. I generally think that's really, really nice. That's really... Sorry, did you want something? <laughs> <laughs> that's really good, guys. Definitely give that version a go. I think that's taken it to the next level. Really, really good. Yeah, there you are. The ultimate porn star martini. Give it a go at home. And uh, until next time, cheers.